Fantastic. Let's move on to our topic UiPath flowchart. What is UiPath flowchart and how it works we are going to see. Until now we have seen how a sequence works. A sequence always works from top to bottom. It's a unidirectional. But a flowchart can be multidirectional. You can see it has given, I have given multiple direction it is going to work. To understand we are going to start everything from the beginning but let's run this and see how this one is functioning then we will understand flowchart okay so this one is quite simple the first thing is it is going to ask the username okay so there's a prompt user input enter a name let's say i'm going to enter my name rakesh and hit on okay so what is happening it is going to greet the user saying hello rakesh very good click on okay now it is going to ask me continue or not continue message would you like to start again let's say yes which is not possible in a sequence right so now you can see it has i have given a direction where it is prompting me again enter a name let's say i'm going to enter a different name this time let's say john and i'm going to hit on okay so again it is going to prompt me greet user hello john and then it is prompting me would you like to continue again let's say i'm not going to select anything i'm going to simply click on okay so what would happen it will by default it will go to the same prompt once again and it's prompting me if i'm not giving any input it is it is going to prompt me again and again okay let's say i'm going to say no then what would happen it is going to go to the bottom one where i have said no thank you automation is going to end here so this is the flowchart you got an example of a flowchart so how to design this let's see it so first of all let me delete everything and then ensure all your variables are deleted as well okay you haven't kept any variable simple now to create a flowchart there's an option here new and i'm going to create a flowchart if you do this way what it's going to do it's going to create a new xml file as I showed you in the sequence, the moment you do it, it is going to create a new flowchart. So I don't want to create a new flowchart. Rather, I am going to use the main.xml file and I want to deploy a flowchart. So to do that, the simple option is here in the activities panel, simply type flowchart. Okay, so here uh, you would find something called flowchart, drag and drop this activity here, flowchart. And you are done now expand this okay this is how it will appear now the very first activity i would like to use is a message box right so let me delete it and i need to drag and drop the message uh, input dialog box right asking the username so input dialog box and click on it so once you click on it you enter details let's say user input and i am going to say enter a name and then I am going to store this into a variable called username. Hit on enter. Done. Now this variable is getting created as a string variable. Very good. Let's go back to the main by hitting on this button. Okay. So I am back to my workflow. Okay. Now the next thing I would like to greet the user. So how would you like to greet the user? Using a message box. Drag and drop. And here click on this. And I am going to say good morning let's say good morning or good afternoon or hello whatever you like to say plus the variable which is containing the username so that way it is going to say good morning the username so this is simple now go back to the main again now the next thing after doing this i would like to give it an option to the user whether he would like to continue this again and again so for that i'll use a input dialog box and here i am going to ask the user whether you would like to continue or not so here i will put a display continue or not and then input level here i will say would you like to continue this automation okay this is the question i'm asking and i'll give few options to the user through the multiple choice and i am going to say um, in double quote yes and then colon uh, semicolon and then I will say no okay yes and no and whatever the user is making a choice it should get stored in a variable so I will say user user choice hit on enter done let's go back to the main so now three different things I have designed and it is flowing in a sequence but I have to use a multi-directional approach right for that based on user choice 
so user could make three choices he could click on yes no or simply make no choice and hit on ok right three possibilities now for that i'll use something called flow uh, switch like a switch activity i have shown in the previous videos similar way flow switch so using the flow switch first thing user might not select anything right so if user is not selecting anything it should show him this dialog box so what are this dialog box is good practice to always name it okay the first one is user uh, name right is asking for user name um, so you give it name so that you understand what you are doing ask user name and this message box purpose is to greet user and here uh, the purpose of this one is continue or not continue or not okay so this gives an indication anybody who is going to look at your workflow they understand what you are trying to do done so default if no choice then it will continue to loop in this way if his user is making a choice the first thing whatever the user is making a choice getting stored in this variable called user choice now what i am going to do in the flow switch i am going to highlight and i'll go to the property panel and here i'll put that variable in the expression what is the variable user choice which contains the data whatever the user is going to choice is going to store in this variable called user choice and this is what kind of a variable it's a string type of variable so this is very important okay done okay so my flow switch has moved up let me drag and drop it to the right place okay so by default it will continue here now if the user is going to make because we have given three choices yes no and he may not make any choice if he is making a choice of yes then what should happen so for that what i will do if he is making a choice yes see if you keep your mouse pointer you see some small small square uh, options right so these are called branchings okay so i am going to take highlight that and continue on to this one so this square button should come okay otherwise it will not connect so it is connected so now highlight this line and here instead of case one what the user is going to select yes so say yes if it is yes then it will ask the username again and again if the user is selecting no then i will show him a message box i'll put a message box here and for this one i'll again highlight and here i would say no if user is making no then you should flow this way if user is making yes you should flow this way and asking ask him to enter a name again so let's run this and see how this one is working pretty simple one the flow chart will give you a direction okay which direction it should flow so there is an error uh, value for a required activity argument text was not supplied okay let me see that where this is happening so dock it and let me auto hide auto hide okay so let's see where we made a mistake okay message box we did not enter anything right any message so let me enter a message uh, thank you the automation is going to end here the automation is going to end here simple let's go here now let's run it and see how this one is working expression must be set before flow uh, switch so there are multiple errors which are coming okay it's good to learn right so there is still a problem so let's see what is the problem uh, flow switch uh, i have entered it for some reason it has vanished so use a choice okay so if you encounter this problem please re-verify it so let's run it okay so now it will first ask for the username okay so let's say i'm going to enter a name called my name rakesh hit on okay it's going to greet me good morning rakesh okay very good then continue or not okay let's say i'm not going to make any choice so what would happen it will go to the default and it is going to loop okay as many times i'm not entering it is going to loop you can see it is looping so let me make a choice so let me make a choice say yes would you like to continue the automation yes okay then what would happen it is again going to this activity and is going to ask me the name let's let me enter a name called john hit on okay 
good morning john again it is asking me continue or not here i am making a choice called no then it should go down okay it has gone down and now it is prompting me thank you the automation is going to end here simple so that is the agenda of this video let's move on to our next topic